Hello everyone. Today we would like to introduce you to the newest console in the EOS family of products called Geo. And to step you through what's new and different about this hardware is Dennis Varian, our Senior Technical Controls Product Manager. Hi, I'm Dennis and I'm going to tell you about the hardware of the new Geo console. We've added a lot of new features to Geo and we're really proud of them. First and foremost is we've made the displays adjustable in angle. So you can see a nice glare there, don't like the glare. You can adjust it anywhere you need it to be. Gives you nice access to adjust the viewing angle and to clear sight lines for seeing the stage. We've got two 12 inch high resolution touchscreen displays. In between the displays we have four function keys and eight user definable keys. On this side of Geo we have 10 motorized faders that can be paged. We have a primary playback pair. This section is similar to EOS. We have a wheel here that can be used to page the motorized faders or as a rate controller. In the center we have keys like EOS for fader controls. On the right side of the console the keypad is very similar to EOS but we added one big improvement. We made it a backlit keyboard so you can see the keys in the dark. The basic keypad layout is very similar to EOS. The keys on the bottom section are identical in spacing and size and shape. We added one row of keys across the top to give direct access to soft keys, functions like an address key for doing dimmer check, and access to an encoder display. Geo includes four tactile feedback haptic encoders. The display functions for the encoders are displayed on the bottom half of the right-hand display and access through the encoder displays key, which toggles open and closed the display for the encoders. Then, of course, we have a level wheel. Last on the front panel, we have a USB port. It can be used for saving show files and updating the software. Now I'll describe the I.O. on the back side of a Geo console. I'll start with some simple things like we have an IEC input and hard power switch. We have two little lights, one on each side of the console, including a knob for adjusting the brightness of the little lights. The brightness can also be controlled using the face panel controls. Next, we have I.O. similar to the EOS console. We have three DVI outputs for monitors. We have audio input and output, six USB ports, and two Ethernet ports. Each Ethernet port can provide power for one PoE device, like an ETC NET3 gateway or RFR remote. They can also be independently addressed to allow one on a NET2 network and one on a NET3 network or other network configurations. The new I.O. that's unique to Geo is we've added accessory or convenience outlets for two DMX output ports, MIDI in and out, remote contact inputs, and a phone remote. These I.O.s are similar to and function like the ION and Element consoles. So Geo fits into the family between ION and EOS from a capacity standpoint. The keyboard layout, as you can see, is almost identical to EOS. Geo comes in four different output configurations, a 2K, a 4K, a 6K, and an 8K. It can integrate into an EOS or ION system as a primary console, a backup, or as a client. We will have Geo at all of the fall trade shows this year, and if you'd like to get a demo, drop by to see us, or you can contact your regional office or dealer. Thank you.